What's up guys? This is Juan Chavez with Jet Tech and I got a review for you guys. It is my first review on software, so um if you guys don't like it, tell me what I should change or and whatnot. Anywho, the review is on Cyanogen Mod 7 Gingerbread for the HTC Evo. This is the first stable gingerbread ROM that is available for the Evo by Cyanogen Mod. So let's take a look at it first. Um, it comes with stock 80W launcher. Uh, of course, I've added my own customizations to it. Uh, this is fancy widgets, with the XDA skin. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like. Uh, you get five home screens. I'm sure all of you, most of you, know what um, 80W looks like. So you get your landscape mode, your portrait mode. Here is, I customize this myself. You uh, download this from, I think it's andrewweb.com. He's a developer of Launcher Pro. Launcher Pro, ADW, sorry guys. And you download this picture and you can change it. I don't like the, the new dock that ADW comes from, so I just chose this one. As you can see, you get your um, application drawer. I personally, I like my dock to open quick and snappy. I'm not a fan of the animations or anything. Uh, mostly because the Evo is not really good with the uh, uh, animations on ADW at least. I mean, I used to have a Samsung Epic and the Epic did a lot better. But, as you can see, pretty fast. Not not the fast, but it reacts pretty fast. Um, you get that Nexus S, that feature. Let me see, I'm trying to... Alright, when you hit the bottom of the menu, it glows. Here, let me focus better. Alright, hot bottom, top. Bottom, top. Um, you can change that. Actually, man, I don't. I really like this camera angle. Let's see if I can fix it. There we go. Uh, if you can go to, it comes with something cool. I like it's theme chooser, and you can choose different themes. This is the system current. It kind of it looks just like regular gingerbread, but you can change it into cyan bread, which it changes your note. As you can see there, changes your notification dot. Um, Notification menu, your selection, as you can see this one's orange, blue, you change the bottom, then here's, it's all green in this one. And there's that dock uh, icon that I was talking about right there. Um, I'm currently a fan of um, just the regular gingerbread so I can go around and say I have gingerbread on my Evo. You get your menu like that. It, these are not stock transitions that come with ADW either. I downloaded something called Ammon Mod. It lets you change the transitions. Like, let's say you're into market, go to home, your menu. But anyways, besides those small changes, I haven't really customized it much. Um, let's go into settings real quickly. There, you get the black menu, and again, at the bottom, top. There we go. And as you can see. And about phone, you can go down to Android version 2.3.3, uh, baseband version, kernel version. That's the kernel that I'm running right now. I can't find any good kernels. I'm I have hardware zero. I mean, it's zero 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 four, so I can't find any. I mean, good kernels that work with Cyanogen mod. I tried the CM6 Snappy version 7.0, I think kernel and it's a really quick kernel you can overclock your phone it like amazing it you get really great quadrant scores but the thing is that neither my front or rear camera work so I'm just running the stock kernel that comes with cyanogen mod as you can see I'm running the first stable version which is cyanogen mod 7.0 supersonic not a release candidate not an alpha not a nightly so there you go and overall, it's a really great ROM. I've been using it for around two weeks now, and it has not given me any troubles. Uh, here's your set CPU widget. As you can see, you can overclock up to 1.113, which is a little over the 1 gigahertz. Or is it 1.3? I don't know. Um, but that's what it looks like, and it does change the performance a little. I mean, you can honestly tell... I will leave it at that for now. The 1.3. There's your widget. 
Um, we'll go into settings again. And a lot of people say don't mess with Cyanogen mod settings. I say don't mess with the wrong thing. I'm going to guide you through this. Like application, you can mess with that. Um, you can mess with the display. On the display, you can get like the screen off animation. That right there. And you can get the screen on animation as well. You can... It does... It looks like a TV when it turns on as well. Um, let me see if that took it off, because sometimes you have to reboot. There we go. Um, you can change, uh, there's that fancy widget. Uh, input, you can change your haptic feedback, your volume, all that kind of stuff. Uh, interface, this lets you change your LED notifications. Um, the Evo actually has two LEDs. It has an LED up here, and then another LED over here. Um, I'll show you guys that in a uh, little later. Power prompt, that that's this. Let you reboot. Um, you get the notification power widget. That's these right here. Um, you can change the indicator color, indicator colors. Um, status bar tweaks. You can show like show clock. You can hide it. You can show the battery percentage. Um, render effect. This is one feature I really like. So right now I have no render effect. Let's say you're at the movies or you're at school and you want to text, and but the lights are off. Like let's say you're watching a movie, for example, and you don't want people to tell your phone's on. You can just click that and it turns red. So if you look closely, I'm sure it won't show up on camera. The color is still there. It just renders it in red. You also have green. Um, you have blue. You have ooh, that's horrible. On camera it is amber which shows the most color as you can see there if I can get this stuff there we go you can see you can still kind of see the green um, render effect you can go salmon you can go fuchsia which is horrid um, and the calibrated nexus one this is what I usually use so that just it, it let's say um, it does the calibration of a nexus one screen on your Evo so it saves a lot of battery. I've gotten about an hour and a half to two hours more, even though I have the extended battery, using the render effect in Calibrated Nexus 1. You can do the low red and the uh, cool. So let's see if you can. We'll focus it up there. See if you can notice a difference. Ah, uh, it's really hard. I'll add the widgets and then it's a lot easier. But, um, yeah. You can change your lock screen right now, style options, you can go into lock screen, lock screen style, right now I have sliding tab, you can do rotary. You can do rotary revamped, which, is com which comes stock when you first boot up uh, after you're done setting up your Google account. This is what it comes stock as. You can do... Uh, and lens. This is like sense on steroids. Like that, and it bounces up. I'm currently a fan of the stock gingerbread look. Uh, you can add a custom app starter. Like, uh, phone. And this, that's nothing. Oh! Actually, it takes you into messaging. Whoops! Uh, where were we? Lock screen. You can go, yeah, widget options. Actually, I don't like that. Alright, you can go into widget options. You can add widgets, like uh, always display battery status. You can see I have 51% of battery left. Um, lock screen music control. That's, let me see if I can get it to come up. That's this. You can tap it. It plays music. I wonder if it'll play anything. But that's that right there. Let me play some music real quickly. Oh, that's not up. I'll play the music later. Um, you have unlock options inside the lock screen settings. You can do menu unlock, which is this. And you can do disable unlock slider. So what you can do is, if somebody tries to steal your phone, oh, I don't know how to turn it on. You press menu. 
wasn't, there we go. You press menu and it unlocks. I used to use it, but then I just got annoyed. Uh, you can do gesture, de gestures, I don't really know how to use those that well. And that's it. Now you can go, this I don't mess with because I don't know, I, I absolutely do not know what I'm doing. So performance is a no-go. Sound, you can de you can mess with uh, like notification focus, silence, state, um, quiet hours. You can uh, choose how high of a decibel, how low decibel your notifications are and stuff. And then tablet tweaks. As uh, you all know, the Evo isn't a tablet, so that's not to our concern. And that's it. I mean, everything else is pretty standard. Um, I'll show you guys the location and security. Standard. Um, oop, not that. Uh, what you can do is screen lock. The pattern's a little different. Like, you can see it glows differently. Don't want to set that. Um, and everything else, like I said, is pretty standard on this ROM. Uh, but, of course, you're running Gingerbread. I'm not sure I downloaded Quadrant. If not, we'll download it real quickly. Hmm. And if you see it, nope. I, I gotta say, when you download this ROM, you you guys should download Google Apps. Google Apps are your Google Apps, so that, that means it turns your phone into an Android phone. What I'm doing right now is adding your the render effects widgets. You go down here, and you can add the render effect. So let me add the all Nexus ones. I'll add this one. And you can resize them too with ADW. Edit. Like that. Now add the other Nexus one. I really recommend this the Ammon mod. Uh, that changes the transition effects. I think it's a great, great investment. It's $1.99, I think, in the market. I couldn't find it on 4 shared, But I still. That's why I bought it because I thought it was really cool. And here's the other one. Okay, so all of them are off right now. I think they are. Yeah. So this is the calibrated Nexus one, just the regular calibrated. So we're going to focus right here. See if you guys can notice the difference on camera. Make sure I'm tapping it. Okay, ready? Did you see it? Can you notice it barely? This is it on, off. On, off. And it just changes the hue of the screen. So right now I'm going to do the low red. So let's see if you can notice the difference. As you can see... Let's focus on the CNN. So you can see it changes the hue of the red. And then I'm going to do the Nexus 1 cool hue calibration. So Small changes that save battery. I personally like the Calibrate Nexus 1 overall. So let's actually download Quadrant Standard. Actually, let me show you your camera before. So before we do that, as you can see, it's your stock camera. What I don't like is there's no tap to focus. As much as you go into the settings, there's no tap to focus. That really bothered me, like, insanely, because all you can do is take that kind of picture. It focuses automatically, or you can turn it off. That I absolutely hate. I need tap to focus. You click menu, you can go into advanced setting. Wait, maybe. I never tried this. Pre-focus, long focus. What? I didn't know that. Okay, so new discovery. Um, but what you can do is go into menu. The front camera works now. So as you can see, hi. There's my camera. Switch camera again. And there you go. Um, the Sign Engine Mod 6.1.2, which was their last six... Uh, Signage Mod 6 ROM, the front camera wouldn't work unless you had the older Evo. So let's go into market. Let's go into market. I'm going to set that down for a second.